What's up everyone, Takedown here. Today I have gotten my complete set of Tim Hortons NHL mini sticks. I'm really excited, but I also went and purchased a second McDavid for myself so I can put on display with my Connor McDavid uh, McFarland figures and my other McDavid collectibles. So this one's going to be on display with them and the rest are going to be put on display together as a complete set. I purchased one set for myself and I purchased a second set for my girlfriend's grandfather who is a heavy collector as well so I thought he'd really enjoy this. So I'm going to be opening up these today. They are $6 at Tim Hortons. I know not all Tim Hortons had enough of them in stock and a lot of them are running low which is why I went and called ahead of time and had the manager set everything that I was picking up aside. They are $6 each, and for a complete set with tax included is $40. I've already seen them going on eBay for $80. I was going to pick up a set and try to flip on eBay for myself, but I'm not going to do that right now just because I don't necessarily agree with it, but the money would have been nice. What I might do if enough people comment on this video stating that they wish to partake in a giveaway, I might go back if I can get a complete set and use that as a future giveaway on my channel. Let me know in the description, or in the description, let me know in the comments below uh, if you guys would be interested in that kind of giveaway. I'll try to go and pick up these, uh, pick up a complete set to use as a future giveaway. Let me know what you guys think on that. There is a chance for getting gold sticks though, so I'm really excited. A lot of people in the Facebook groups I'm in say that these should be wrapped in clear plastic. That is... Not true. I called, talked to the manager, and he said how they received them is just as is in the box. And he stated that you can tell if they already were opened. I already opened this one myself. But he said you can tell if they've been tampered with. But for him personally, at this location, he keeps them all in his office. So there's no employees that are near them at any time. So I'm going to start with the one that I keep holding up here. The McDavid one. And since for myself, I plan on keeping the box, at least for now, I'm just going to put a key in the top and pull up on the box so I don't rip it. And that's how I'm going to be opening these up so I can try to keep the box in good condition. So the first McDavid, it is kind of thin plastic, but it is does look, does look nice. So we're going to open it here and see if it is gold inside. I'm assuming not, just because it's a small town that I'm in. And it is not. However, this looks really nice. Uh, the door is a little thin and doesn't stay open. Right, at least in my opinion. The stick looks really nice. Uh, it looks like an insert at the back here. It's not a sticker. Whereas this insert here is a sticker. Um, that's pretty nice. It has where he lives, a couple stats about him. And of course, the stick. I'm not going to take it out, but that looks really nice. Kind of like the uh, McDonald's ones from... Uh, 06, 07, 08, I think they had them. So that's really cool. I'm just going to leave that one to the side because that's not in this complete set. And now we're going to go through one by one on these ones here. So it looks really nice. That one's going to be nice for my uh, McDavid, right next to my McDavid figures. And the rest are going to be on my, uh, in a complete set on a shelf. So this is Carey Price. I'm not sure if it's just McDavid that has the gold stick or if they all might. So we're just going to check them out here. That looks really nice. Not a gold stick, but that's fine. That looks like a nice stick. He's the only goalie in this set, which was surprising to me. I thought, personally, I think if this is going to be as successful as it's going to be so far, I think that they should do a set a year and they should have a goalie set and regular player sets. I think that's likely what they're going to do in the future. At least that'd be really cool. I'm going to do Mitch Mardner now, open this one up. Now I'm really surprised that Austin Matthews was not the chosen one for Toronto. Um, I think Austin Matthews is a way better player, or even John Tavares, but Mitch Mardner is still pretty cool. I'm not a fan of Toronto if you guys didn't know. That looks pretty nice. Pretty clean inside, at least. If I can put it here like this, it does cover carry price, so I'll leave it like that. That looks pretty cool. 
I'm not 100% sure right now how I am going to display these. I kind of want to keep the box for now, but I don't think I'm going to put them back in the box. Um, I might just keep the box in my collection for now. And then we will, let's see if it's a gold stick. No, but still pretty nice. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to display them where they're completely open, like the Carey Price one here with the door wide open, or if I'm just going to display them closed like that. That still looks really nice. So I don't know. I'm going to have to see how I want to display these up on my shelf. And also I'm going to have to clear out a shelf. If you guys want to see what my current hockey collectible shelves look like, I can do that for a future video if you guys want. But right now they are pretty messy. I have a lot of stuff. I really wish I could find more room for them. So right now is McKinnon. Just a standard stick inside, but these look really nice and clean and crisp. Uh, they display a little bit better than the McDonald ones from back in the day. They stay open, which I think is really cool. Ovechkin right now. This might be the only Ovechkin collectible I have. That's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting my small town to have a, um, to get gold sticks or if they did get very many of them. But like I said, the uh, manager put them in his back office. So I know these ones were not open and ransacked. I've seen a lot of people on Facebook groups where they open them up. And after they open up the actual case here, the locker, there is inside it uh, flour and different things from the employees at Tim Hortons, the bakers, if it was on their hands, it went, ended up going inside, which I'm 100% against. They should be leaving it for the competition or just doing it like they do now. Sidney Crosby. That was really nice. I like that. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to display them closed like I have the McDavid one here. That still looks really nice. Or if I'm going to display them open like this. That looks even better in my opinion. Comment down below what you guys think I should do. Of course, if they're open like this, it's going to take up more room. But I'm really debating on just having them closed. And having them all at the back of my collectible shelf. Um, or I might put them at the back here for hockey card videos and have them kind of at the back. I don't know. I don't really know what I want to do with them. I know I want to display them. That's the sole purpose of purchasing them for my complete collection. I just don't know right now if I want to display them closed, which still looks really nice. And you know exactly the players and everything. Or if I want to display them open because they do look really nice open. Like, that looks awesome. That looks incredible. I kind of like them open, but that's going to take up twice as much space if I keep them like that. And I don't even know if I'll be able to put them on a shelf if they're open. So, I don't know. I'll let you guys know in the future. If you guys want to see my collectible shelves uh, where I put my personal collection, let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, this is my complete set for Tim Hortons. A lot of Tim Hortons are running low on them, or at least running low on certain players. I ended up calling ahead of time. And they set aside two um, complete sets for myself, one for me, one for my girlfriend's grandfather, who's a collector. I wanted to get him that. And I also picked up the second McDavid just to put on my McDavid shelf. This one here, the second McDavid, I'm going to leave that open up on the shelf because that looks awesome. The complete set, at least for now, I might leave it all closed when I display it. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, comment down below if you guys think I should do a giveaway. Like I said, I was going to... Buy another set, try to flip it on eBay, double my money, but I'm also not a, not for that. I'm kind of against that just because they just came out. It is high demand right now. Some locations are running low, so I get why. And of course, the United States, not very many Tim Hortons are over there. So I might do purchase a complete set and do as a giveaway in about a month for the channel. I'm not 100% sure. It depends on if I can get a complete set now or not. If I can, I might do that. I'm not 100% sure. So at least these look really nice, clean, and look awesome. And they're going to be a little nice on display, even if I just display them closed like this. 
that still will look nice sitting up on my shelf. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys were able to get these mini sticks. If not, I might do a giveaway, but I honestly would recommend staying away from eBay right now because they're charging $20 to ship. These are incredibly light, so I can't see it being $20 to ship. Plus, they are $80, so you're paying $100 for a complete set. That costs you $40 tax in if you buy them at Tim Hortons. So just buyer beware, but this is a complete set for me. I absolutely love them, and these are going to be staying in my personal collection. I am not selling these ever. I really regret selling my McDonald's ones from back in the way because I had a complete set for both years. I really regret doing that. So I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please take care. Peace.